Lab Assignment 1. This is a 12-page mock-up brochure. Open up InDesign and we can start with it using the New File or File New in the menu bar. File New Document. That brings up our new document window. Go ahead and label this Lab Assignment or Lab 1 is fine actually and then your last name. That's our naming convention so it's always the Lab Assignment and then your last name. We're going to measure in inches here, so let's go ahead and switch from picas to inches. Our dimensions are going to be five and a half by eight and a half. You're making a uh, eight and a half by eleven uh, multi-page brochure folded in half. So each page is five and a half by eight and a half, so it's going to be portrait. I want you to add twelve pages here in the actual pages tab. We're going to use facing pages. This will make that a foldable brochure. We want to start numbering at page one. Everything else, the default is fine for this assignment. Go ahead and create uh, the uh, project by hitting, hitting create. This is what our page looks like. InDesign actually will stack all the pages. You can use the hand right here to actually drag and you can use the zoom tool right here to zoom in and out. So by default, it zooms in. If you use the alt key or the command key on the Mac, it'll zoom out. Okay. and you can see the pages are stacked. A better way to navigate your document is to have the Pages tab open. If your interface does not look like mine, please go up here to uh, and select the Advanced Workspace. So it defaults typically to the Essentials or Essentials Classics. Select Advanced. If you don't see this up here, you can use the Window Workspace and go to Advanced. This will reset your workspace so it matches more of mine. Okay. I'm going to select the hand tool and drag my, my document around and you can see I've got page one selected. What we did is we created a 12 page document. The facing pages is what created this uh, interface here. It shows us where the fold will be. Our document size is eight and a half by 11. So you can see page one is actually the cover page. Page 12 is the actual uh, back page. Okay, you can navigate to each one of these pages by double clicking in the pages tab. Imagine this is a 100 page document. This will be a much easier way for you to navigate. For this assignment, what we're going to do is make a, a little paper mock up. So, all we need to do is label each one of these pages. So, go over here to the type tool, select the type tool, and I want you to, across the top here, just click and drag a type box. Everything in InDesign has to be in a box. You cannot just click with the type tool like you can in Photoshop. You have to click and drag. So, I label this uh, as page one. In this case, I'm also going to write cover. I'm going to use the select tool. That's this very first option, the letter V. I'm going to actually, I had a typo there. I'm going to go ahead and correct that page one cover type tool. I want to make that a little bit bigger here. So what I'm going to do is go back to my type tool. You notice the preference, the toolbar preferences change here. Your font size is right here. I'm going to go ahead and make that much larger so I can read it. Okay. While it's selected there, I'm going to go ahead and select center align. So it aligns it across the top. Okay. So now I've got that. Just to make things a little bit simpler and easier, I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to go to page two and I'm going to paste and using the select tool, I use the keyboard command to paste. You can also use edit paste. Okay. Control V or command V. Now this is no longer uh, page one. So you notice I can double click inside of there to select the text and it automatically converts to the type tool. Okay. Once I have two, uh, the two corrected uh, type there, I can go ahead and click off of that by going to the select tool and click off of it. I'm going to reselect it. When it's selected, you can see you have your bounding boxes here. Okay. So I'm going to again go edit and co copy this. Click over on to page three. I'm using the hand to move over. The space bar is the keyboard shortcut. You can also double click on page three and go to edit and paste. Now I've pasted that same thing using the select tool, drag up, double click inside of it with it selected and I can change that to page three. Okay, I'm gonna select both of them now. Using the select tool, you can see when you click and drag and just touch the bounding box, it selects it. So you don't need to select the entire thing. So now I've copied, uh, I've selected both of those and I'm gonna edit and copy again. I'm gonna go to my pages tab and click uh, double click on page four here, space bar for the hand tool. And this time I'm going to do edit and I'm going to do paste in place. 
So edit, not paste, but paste in place. That aligned the top for me. I knew I was on page three. So I'm gonna select this box, this type box that says page two, double click with the select tool. It converts to the type tool, highlight and go to page four and page five. I'm gonna now double click here on the next page, six and seven, spacebar, drag it over and I'm gonna do edit, paste in place. So control, alt, shift, V, look at your keyboard command. So I already had four and five. So this is now double click. This is gonna be page six and page seven. Select tool, move on to the next page, space bar, control alt shift V. Okay, this is now page eight. Again, double click with the select tool to actually select the actual type there. Page nine, we are almost done. Double click here, space bar, control alt shift V. You can see how much faster it goes when you actually know your keyboard command. I already have my type tool here, so I can just click and drag. I didn't even select it. I can just click and drag to highlight um, that last one, the uh, last text there. So here I'm gonna do a control C to copy. I can also just use the scroll bar. The scroll bar is available to you here, if, or H for the hand to actually drag because InDesign stacks everything. And I'm gonna control Alt Shift V page this and get the type tool and this is page 12 okay this is the back cover okay so page 12 back cover okay so now our assignment is done the way we need to uh output this to turn it in you can see on pages tab we've got everything labeled you are going to go to file uh, and if you do a print it's going to print it as single individual pages instead select print book Okay, a booklet is going to change this into a print layout. Okay, and you'll understand this a little bit more once we actually assemble this. So the defaults are fine here. So I'm using a custom, uh, I'm gonna make a PDF. I'm using all the pages. Two up saddle stitch means two pages facing up. Saddle stitch means folded and stapled in the middle. Obviously we're not, we're just folding it, okay. You do need to go to preview here and you can see the preview doesn't look correct. It's Basically, it looks like the paper is portrait, but the our layout is landscape. So you want to go into this print settings here. And under your print setting is where all of your local printer setup is. So I'm going to go to from general into setup. I do have letter, but you can see the orientation for my printer is still set to portrait. So I'm going to go to landscape here. So landscape and everything else is fine. You can click OK. And now in my preview window, you can see here that now the pages are side by side like an actual booklet. Now, if you remember, page one was by itself in InDesign, but by using the print booklet option, so file print booklet, it basically assembles or connects the pages. So now the cover page is uh, gonna print next to the back page. Notice the cover is our right-hand side page because once it's folded, it's gonna be on the right-hand side. If I scroll here, I can see now, uh, this is what print booklet is doing. It's printing page two and page 11, okay? So it's assembling the pages in the correct order so that way when you fold this together, it is actually going to make a, a booklet for you, okay? So now you can go ahead and hit print for right now. Now it's not gonna actually print. I'm gonna basically save this. I've got my folder here, lab assignment one, Hammernick. It's now created my booklet here and I'm an Acrobat reader and you can see now page one, the cover is here. So once it folds in half, this becomes the back cover. And if I scroll down to my next pages, this would be the inside. Now, if you, uh, I do want you to go ahead and print this. Uh, advanced points here, if you uh, know how to print it double-sided, if you don't, it's fine. But you will do is you're gonna print it and you're gonna fold it into a booklet and uh, look at the photos that I've included with the assignment to see what it is that I, I need for you to create. It'll be a reference point and we will build upon this for our assignment.